I am at step number 10 and this is what we have here a part of the frame with the uh, two uh, motors so it went very well so far hello guys welcome to my channel I am Daniel look at that totem mini troopers before I open the box to show you what this product is I have to tell you a little a short story two weeks ago I get an email from totem they're asking me if I can promote on my channel their mini troopers robot I have no idea who totem is no idea what is a mini trooper so I go on the website and I see that first of all they're located in Europe in the Vilnius Vilnius Lithuania and I see that they do kits for electronics and also robots and made in Europe so I cannot believe it I said a robot that is not coming from China so I said yes <laughs> I said of course I want to help you guys promote your robot outside of Europe before I open the box I have no idea what to expect okay guys I haven't peeked trust me I haven't peeked inside the box so let me show you some key elements on this box so this is the front here mini uh, troopers you will see on their website they have two options and I'm going to show you pictures but about the pricing be careful because the VAT varies in many countries uh, so the price will change a little bit but they have a kit for one robot or a kit of two and if you look at the pricing I mean we're not tacking here 500 euros we're talking like well you see here around 60 or 120 euros so I think this is very interesting for a kit I want to show you the back here and look at that here look at that app control so you control your robots with an app and you do battles I don't know if you know about the TV shows in the US battle bots this is it guys and here they show and I wonder yeah, you can see it here advanced building instructions uh, you have different colors for robots you see here the control board uh, obviously here to control your robots and I saw something I want to show you here this is what struck me on the website look at that here made in Europe like I said uh, I don't even remember if ever I saw a robot that was not made in China I'm not talking about Boston Dynamics here I'm not going to buy the little dog for seventy thousand dollars US so this is very very interesting and like I said I have no idea what to expect so let's open the box and see what's inside there is a sleeve here I'm going to leave that here on the side and look at that totem uh, nothing else here uh, it is we have tapes over here there you go and what do we have Wow look at that do we have a manual very let me see inside Wow yeah I mean it's very very interesting look at that it looks very very well done and I have here a control board let me take this out here so we can see here a control board there is a servo over here I'll put that on the side I have two wheels two wheels here a little motor look at that motor here and here oh we have more parts over here we have uh, these looks like um, plates <clears throat> I have here looks like a wheel look at that I'm going to move closer and this looks like yeah this is 3d printed a bag of parts and the battery look at that the rechargeable battery is included this is very good a, lot, a bunch of screws over here more screws over plates over here what do we have here more screws over here lots of screws and here we have square uh, spacers or they could be also like square washers and tools 
to. Look at that. They provide the tools to work or to assemble your robot because the robot comes pre uh, not assembled. You have to assemble the robot. And we have here a little uh, template to show you which screws is which. So they give you the length of the screws and the M type. It's all M3. M3, yeah, but different length. And here, what do we have? I'm going to put that sideways. We have a lot of styrofoam here. What do we have here? Oh, look at what, oh, look at what they did. They sent me the regular kit, but they sent me one fully assembled. This is very clever. And guys, if you see this video on my channel, it's because I like the product. I have a small channel. I don't get free products very often. Sometimes I start a video and after five minutes, I turn my cameras off and I say, no, I'm not going to show this on my channel. So if you see this, it's because I like it. So look at that here. This one is yellow. Oh, the other one here that they sent me in the kit, look at that, is green, like we saw on the box. So yellow, this is the bottom over here. We see the two wheels, ball bearings here as wheels for the back. And can we lift this? No, it's on a motor. I cannot lift it. I need uh, probably the app to operate this, which we will do in a second video. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to focus on this unboxing and also the assembly. And then I'll do a second video where we look at the app and we do a battle just like the TV shows. And uh, what do we have here? Oh, we have something else. Oh, this is probably to charge. Yes, this is the charger to charge the rechargeable battery. Again, that comes with the kit. Let me double check the box. It is empty. So I'm going to put that here on the ground, on the floor. So guys, I am going to I won't do a time lapse. I don't like time time lapse very much. They tend to be boring and long. I'm going to assemble this. I will follow the instructions. And at every step, I'm going to stop and show you a close up of what the step is all about. And at the beginning here, they have starting tips. They show here about inserting the nuts and how to use the uh, the template to make sure you are using the right screws because there are many many screws and um, a mechanical part list electronics tools how to control do you have the apps and step one and two you start with the rails here you can see step one well sorry what is step two right there step one and step two it looks very very clear to me so guys i am going to assemble this and uh, we'll see at the end our two robots side by side but I mean I am liking what I see right now okay so let's start the assembly I want to show you here first uh, step one and two they show here in the manual where to tighten the bracket as you can see it's not always in the same direction and uh, over here in this case for example it's right in the middle and these are the tools that are provided and actually this allen the driver here is magnetic so it makes it easy to drive the screw inside the uh, brackets i am at step number 10 and this is what we have here a uh, part of the frame with the uh, two uh, motors so it went very well so far after step 16, we have the servo installed and the two little bumpers in the front. In tight spaces like the servo here, I prefer to remove the tip from the hex driver. And then as you can see, you can drive the beginning of the screw. And then at the end, you can just take the other Allen key provided to tighten well these uh, two screws uh, on both sides of the servo. After step 21, we have the battery installed here and the control board. Step 22 is the flipper and this is uh, 3D uh, printed. And if you're not sure, it says so in the back right there, 3D printed. 
this is after step 25 and again I want to point out that the parts as you can see here they fit perfectly in step 30 we attach the flipper to the frame and I like the manual where they say here in some pages they say tricky step and they explain here why you have to tighten but not too much to get a free uh, movement in step number 31 we install the uh, two ball bearings in the back over here and uh, the two wheels on the two uh, motors step 32 and 33 show what you need to do to make sure that the flipper moves perfectly finally at the end we make all the connections we have the servo goes in here we have the two motors over here and uh, if we look at the cable management in the back i did basically what they show in the manual i have here the servo cable like uh, hidden in the back here and the two cables here uh, they provide the two zip ties for that but i added the three i have lots of them so uh, this way I could run the cables a little bit uh, uh, more to my liking uh, like this so um, this is all uh, connected and uh, put together now so the assembly went very well the instructions are excellent I agree with the age that they put on the box by the way 12 year plus I don't think you would give this uh, kit uh, to an eight-year-old girl or a boy as a gift I think 12 is a good uh, assessment now it took me about two hours to build but I took my time uh, you could probably do it in less than that but if you take your time again you follow the instructions make sure you don't make uh, mistakes you should consider about like I said about two hours I mentioned at the beginning of my video that this was a wheel. You see this 3D printed? It's not a wheel, it's a puck. So there is a game, one of the games that they recommend in the manual, where you play like hockey. You can push the, the puck with your mini trooper. You get also two chargers in the set of uh, two. Uh, they have a red LED to indicate uh, charge. And when the trooper is fully charged, the LED uh, simply uh, turns off. Now, I took a few notes here during the, the build. Manual is very good. You get some spares. You can see here I have some spares left over here. But I have a recommendation for a totem. There is no spare for the little nut. The M3, I think it's a 5.5 by 5.5. Let me show you a picture right there. Right here. This little nut here is very small and you could easily drop one during the build and you don't have spares so i would like a uh, totem to have a few of those as uh, spares the template was also very very useful to use in the in the build so let me check my notes over here um the tools are provided like i said which is a very good thing so my next video i am going to show you the app um, I'm going to connect the mini troopers to uh, two uh, cell phones and we are going to do battles and I will show you the games that uh, Totem uh, recommends in the uh, manual. So thank you guys for watching and as always if you have any questions about the mini troopers let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day. Goodbye guys.